Yes, I sent an email to the world leader of every country asking for an autograph. And honestly, I still can't believe it. As we live in an increasingly digitized society, it can be easy to forget just how connected to the world we truly are. And so I wanted to test the limits of this world's generosity and show really how connected we are in a way that no one has before. The first thing I had to do was actually find all of the emails that I would be sending. And surprisingly, this was not actually that difficult. If you just Google the country as their president, for most of the time, you can find an email just out there on the internet. For the ones that didn't have that though, I went through another route and found a tourism department, foreign services, uh, parliament, any like related category and sent them an email that way. I put all of these emails in a massive spreadsheet with the title of position, the country, and the email side by side. It was a pretty large effort to collect all these emails and took about like two weeks total, I'd say, to get all of them. I tried to find two for every country. Uh, but since it was such a big effort, I had to get the help of Charlie and Caleb, who you'll see in other videos, to help me compile all of these emails. The actual message itself read something like this. Dear country, I'm a student in the United States and I'm a very big fan of President Blank. If possible, I would love to be able to get an autographed picture of the president to show my support. If Mr. or Mrs. Person is able to do this, it would mean a lot to me. My address was listed and then thank you for your time, Ethan Ackerman. Afterwards, I manually sent every email. It probably would have been a lot easier to write code, but I'm terrible at code and so are my friends and so I just pushed through manually. It was a little worrying emailing some leaders like Kim Jong-un or Vladimir Putin, for example, and uh, I may be on a government watch list, but it was hopefully worth it. But I will say after all the manual labor was out of the way, it was amazing just to sit back and watch the responses come in. Surprisingly, I actually got very few responses via email and most would come through the mail later, but countries like Iceland, Hong Kong, and Singapore all said no pretty quickly through the email. The country of Romania responded, sort of. They just sent a blank email, I'm not sure what to think. Suriname also responded and they said they forwarded the email to their president, although I never got anything as of recording this, so I guess the president didn't like it very much. Dominica said they couldn't send it due to unforeseen circumstances. I hope everything's okay there in Dominica. Monaco couldn't help either, although I should give them a shout out because they were very polite and just couldn't send it because they were the wrong point of contact. They were one of the ones that didn't have a direct um, world leader email and they didn't have an email that I could use instead and so it pretty much ended there, but they were very polite. I will say after getting only no's for a little while, I was really doubting the plausibility of this idea. It was pretty absurd to, you know, email just the world leaders. Uh, but that's when I got my first yes. It was from the country of Germany. At that point, I was over the moon. Although no other countries would respond yes or no, they emailed the rest of the way, except for the Philippines, who sent this strange interaction. Dear sir slash madam, as requested, please see attached photo of the president. Thank you. Kindly acknowledge receipt. Received. Thank you. You're welcome. Not exactly what I meant, but I do appreciate the effort and it is a very nice picture of your president. About two weeks after this, I received the first package and from this point, I knew it had worked. So I just sat back, relaxed and enjoyed the mail coming in. It was from the government of Canada, who I really wasn't expecting because like I said, they hadn't responded to my email. But I'm very happy to have received this autograph of Trudeau, which was super cool. They also sent me a letter to go with it. I do think this might have intrigued the mail people because I found it opened as well as a few other letters down the line um, when I received it in the mail. The next day I received the autograph of President Higgins of Ireland and they have this awesome golden stamp on the letter and envelope. Thank you so much to Ireland for this awesome picture. I got one from the Netherlands, where they also sent me the receipt they used to file the request. I find it hilarious that in the write-in section, it just says photo of Prime Minister Ruta. Also, the Netherlands had a fun envelope, which the back was made of this cardboard material, and it was something I hadn't seen before, really, in America. 
Uh, this autograph was also super cool and I'm very happy to have received it. I then received a package from Poland where they had this cool picture of their president Andrzej Duda in front of some flags signed with some message written in Polish that says something along the lines of with kind greetings. I believe I really don't speak Polish. Poland altogether was super generous and they wrote me a letter wishing me well as well as this cool booklet. Before we finish going through the autographs though, I want to take a minute to talk about the new goal of this channel, and that is to seize the world. What exactly does seize the world mean? Well, life is short, and it's the idea to take every minute as it comes and really enjoy what life brings. As this channel grows, we hope to see the world, learn about things, and try what we never thought we could. As this channel grows, we hope our message to seize the world does too. Let this serve as just a little reminder to seize the world, to enjoy life, and take things as they come. At the end of the day, this is the life we live, and so we should enjoy it as much as we can. But I've already rambled on for long enough, so back to the autographs. I finally received the package from Germany, and it was worth the wait because they actually sent me two different autographs. The first one was of their president, Frank Walter Steinmeier, with a card signed, I believe, by their chancellor, Olaf Scholz. The second one from Germany, I thought was actually from Malta at first, because I had the Malta post stamp at the top, but I opened it up to find an autographed picture of their chancellor, Olaf Scholz. After that, I got a big envelope from Luxembourg, also with this cool cardboard envelope type that the Netherlands had. It included a business card of the Prime Minister with this type of paperclip I've never really seen before. The autograph was certainly one of the coolest because they actually wrote out for Ethan on the autograph, which was just super crazy. Just the thought that somewhere in Luxembourg, the Prime Minister was like thinking about me and actually wrote out a personal address just blew my mind. Keep in mind all of this because I just sent an email asking. I received my first autograph from a female leader when I received an autograph of Prime Minister Senna Marine of Finland. They sent me a nice postcard and on the back it had her signature posted, as well as some paper with a lion symbol of Finland and written out best regards. I was beginning to think I had gotten all I was going to receive, but a month after the last one I received a package from Vienna. I learned here that Austrian words are very long and hard to pronounce. The photograph was amazing and huge thanks to the government of Austria for taking the time to also write out my name as well as having the leader's signature. It really means a lot and an extra minute of personalization makes it that much more special. The next day I got a letter from Estonia where they sent me their leader's autograph in a very fancy case envelope thing which really adds to the aesthetic of it all as well as also sending this nice letter. After that, I received one from the Prime Minister of Sweden that came on this really long postcard. On this map, you can see all of the countries that sent me something. As you can see, there's a very clear trend that formed and honestly wasn't what I expected going into this. For nearly every country, it was a wealthier European nation. In hindsight, this makes sense because they have the budget to send things like this off to random strangers in America. Going into this, I thought if I had any plausibility of getting an autograph, it would be from some tiny island or nation. But of course that prerequisite was entirely false. And I actually got some big name leaders on the list, such as Canada, Germany, Finland. Like these are all very world renowned and important leaders on the geopolitical scale. I think that makes it even cooler though. The fact that I have an autograph from someone who is that important on a geopolitical scale. I hope I do continue to get packages down the line and I'll probably make an update video if I do. I seem to be getting them very sporadically where I won't get anything for like a month and then I'll receive three in three days. Because of that, I don't know exactly what I'm expecting now or down the line. And so I had to have some point where I just called it in. And since it's been about three months since I started this initial project, I figured it was time to finally sit down, record, and make this video. Although I do not think that I'm done receiving them by any means, as I got one just a few weeks ago. I need to sincerely thank all of the countries that sent me something. From the bottom of my heart, it's incredible. Like I said, still hard to believe. Who knows, maybe I could actually meet one of these world leaders down the line. 
as hopefully this video has shown, although we may seem separate at times, we are so truly interconnected into this world. And the technology around and available to us today should not be taken for granted. We can do amazing things together and connecting with the world. All you have to do is be brave enough to ask. But of course, this would all be meaningless without human generosity. Even things that take a minute or two, like sending out an autograph, could mean the world to someone else. Follow in these leaders' footsteps. Be the ones to go the extra mile and help out a friend or even a stranger. You never know what good will come. Thank you for watching. And one last time, thank you world for responding. With that, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. We'll see you in the next adventure.